All right, so here's our standard red LED on the atom. Just so that you know what it is. All right, so now we're going to disassemble the keyboard, which is very simple, actually. There are six screws holding it together. And unlike others, we don't have to remove the rubber feet to get to them. Just take them out. The tools you're going to need to do this is obviously a Phillips screwdriver. You need a soldering iron, some solder, some flux, and an LED. Other than that, it's a very simple little hack that we're going to do to make our atom look better. Let's get these screws out of the way there. I hope they want to stay there, they stay there. See, it's right down here. But I'm going to remove the keyboard so I can get to it because there's wires back there. I don't want to just fight it right there. Out key or out screw. Out screw. Millie said get out. Get out. Alright, screws are out. Now let's take these four screws out of here. You know what's so fascinating about the Atom keyboard is that this is just the keyboard. Many other retro computers from that time period, this would have been the whole computer. The computer itself would have been shoved in this little case. Think Commodore 64. Think Atari. Think Spectrum. The Sinclair Spectrum. Or many of the other ones, just like that. Alright, so you see we got our wires here. This, this slides out. Like so. And let's take this out of here too. Eh, I don't need to take it out. We'll just leave that right there. Because I'm just using the working on the wire. So let's get this over here out of the way. Now before I go too further, I want to look at this. I want to see which side of the LED is flat. If you notice, this side of the LED is flat. It's going to the orange. On my new LED, it has a flat side also. I need to make sure that the flat side goes to the orange. And I made sure also that I got an LED that is the same size as that one. So it just sits in the same thing. I had a packet of these. I got these from Radio Shack when Radio Shack was still a going concern. So let's recall that again. Flat to orange. I'm going to get a pen and write it down. Alright, so I got a pen. I'm just going to write that down. Flat orange because knowing me five minutes from now I'm gonna be like what side was that what color was that now I'm just gonna take these apart here this is pretty easy to remove these I'm gonna take my solder and I dipped it into flux first just to get the magic smoke yeah pull that off there off there that's done that red LED is out of the way now again, remember flat to orange, so I'm going to work on the flat first. What does my bend look like? I want to match this as best as possible. So it looks like they went down to there and then bent. Out a little. And then they would cut, cut off the rest of it. I shall cut that off in a moment. Let's twist this around here to have it stay in place long enough for me to yeah, maybe not. I'm trying to make it stay in place long enough to get some solder and then I'll cut the excess off. Alright, there we go. Stay there. There. So flux on the tip of the soldering iron. Get some solder on here. Put a little blob of solder to hold it together. I'm going to do the same with the other side. Let's just verify it again. Yep. Flat to orange, see it's a flat side, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a flat side there on the plastic. And we'll do the same with this one here. Bend that out. Take this, twist it around, we'll put you back over there. Twist 
twist it around so that you'll stay there long enough for me to get some solder on you. Dip in the flux. Get some of the magic smoke. And put some solder on there. Now I need my wire cutters. I gotta cut off the excess. You don't want to cut. You're not that sharp. Wow. Alright, now I need my wire cutter so I can cut off the excess. That's done. And this one right here, same way. Alright. Move those out of the, out of the way. Clean up a little bit. Verify one last time, flat to orange, flat to orange. No, I don't think it would hurt anything. I think at the worst what it would do is it will burn the LED out. So let's put it back together. Put that off to the side. Let's take our LED. I may have to massage these wires to get them to go in correctly. But there we go. All right, that went in pretty easy. LED's in place. Keyboard over. Set it down there. Take our four screws to hold the keyboard down. Looking like my keyboard needs a little dusting in there. I have to do that one these days. I have to take this part and clean it. Maybe I'll make a video of it. What do you think? If you think I should make a video of how to clean the keyboard, let me know in the comment down below. So there we go, we got that. Now we're going to put the cover back on. You see, it sits in there nicely. Just like the red one did, because it's the same size. Let's put these four screws in. Or four, six screws in. If it's four, then we lost some. But no, there's six. Not a trick but a technique for putting screws back in old plastic that sometimes I remember to do when you first put it in instead of just bearing down and starting to go into it back it up until you hear it click so unscrew it to hear it click hear that click it just lined up into the previous threads now if you screw it down in there there's less chance of you breaking the plastic if you just start drilling this thing in there just pushing in as hard as you can you could break the old threads that are in there or break the little standoff. So again, I'm going to unscrew it to a click. Now it's lined up. One last time. And it's lined up and screw it in. And there we go.